It looks like DJI isn't hitting the brakes anytime soon. Just when we thought the company might take a break after its busy release schedule, something new has already started making waves. The follow-up to the compact DJI Neo drone is on the way, and it's called the DJI Neo 2. This isn't just another rumor floating around. The Neo 2 has already shown up in FCC filings, which is usually a clear sign that DJI is preparing to launch a new device soon. If you've followed DJI for a while, you'll know that whenever a product appears in those official certification listings, it's not long before we see an official release. The FCC usually comes into play during the final stages of testing, meaning the hardware is mostly complete. Now, when exactly will the Neo 2 hit the market? That's the tricky part. Some early signs point toward a late 2025 release. However, a few important details in the filing were redacted, with expiration dates stretching into 2026. That suggests DJI might be keeping things quiet a bit longer, possibly preparing a more polished reveal, or even delaying the full public launch until early next year. Still, one thing is clear, the DJI Neo 2 is coming. And based on what's already leaked, it looks like this will be one of DJI's most refined entry-level drones yet, a perfect blend of performance, safety, and creative features in a body that's incredibly small and lightweight. Design and build, familiar but smarter. Let's start with the basics, the body and design. The original DJI Neo was designed to be ultra-portable, beginner-friendly, and fun. It wasn't meant to replace professional drones like the Mini 4 Pro or the Air 3, but rather to give new users a taste of what DJI drones can do without spending a fortune or worrying about heavy regulations. The Neo 2 continues that same philosophy, but with several smart refinements. According to early information, the Neo 2 will weigh around 135 grams. That's impressively light, even lighter than most smartphones. And even if the final retail version ends up a little heavier, it's still expected to stay under the 250 gram limit. That's an important number because, in many countries, drones under that threshold don't require registration or special licensing. It makes the Neo 2 a grab-and-go device, something you can just toss in your backpack and take anywhere. But DJI didn't just stick with the same weight for convenience. They've also managed to fit in a larger battery, which is a big deal in such a small form factor. The first Neo came with a 1,435 mAh battery, offering decent flight times for casual users. The Neo 2, though, reportedly jumps to 1,660 mAh, roughly a 15% increase. That might not sound like much on paper, but in drone terms, every milliamp counts. This upgrade should translate into noticeably longer flights, more time to capture your shots, explore a location, or practice flying. For creators who like to travel light, this improvement alone makes the Neo 2 much more appealing. The camera upgrade that changes everything. Of course, the biggest upgrade comes where it matters most, the camera. The original Neo had a modest half an inch sensor. It was fine for casual use, but it struggled in low light situations, and the image detail wasn't on par with DJI's more premium drones. With the Neo 2, DJI seems to be making a serious leap forward. Leaks suggest the Neo 2 will feature a 1-1.3 inch sensor, the same size found in the DJI Mini 4 Pro, and even in some high-end smartphones like the Galaxy S24 Ultra. That's a huge jump for a lightweight, entry-level drone. A larger sensor means more light, better dynamic range, and more detail, especially when shooting in challenging lighting conditions like sunrise, sunset, or cloudy weather. You'll get richer colors, deeper shadows, and smoother transitions between bright and dark areas. And of course, this sensor upgrade also paves the way for 4K recording at 60 frames per second. That's a big step up from the 30 frames per second cap on the previous model. With 60 frames per second, footage looks far smoother, especially when capturing motion, whether it's fast-moving subjects like cars, waves, or simply your drone gliding through the air. There are also whispers about higher frame rates possibly being available in lower resolutions, maybe 1080p at 120 frames per second for slow-motion shots. 
That would give creators more flexibility to add cinematic motion to their videos without needing a high-end editing setup. Even more XI. Ting, there's talk that the Neo 2 might support HDR video recording, allowing for better contrast and color accuracy straight out of the camera. If that's true, DJI will be setting a new standard for what a sub 250G drone can do. Safety and ease of use, double protection. Safety is another area where DJI is upping its game. Next, let's talk about performance and control. The Neo 2 is expected to bring improvements to GPS accuracy and signal stability. The leaks mention stronger GPS locking, which means faster satellite acquisition and more precise hovering. That's especially useful when flying in windy conditions or complex environments. A better GPS system also means smoother tracking and return to home performance. Beginners often rely on these features for safety, if something goes wrong, the drone can automatically fly back to where it took off. But DJI might not stop there. There's also speculation that the Neo 2 could feature smarter subject tracking, maybe even a version of DJI's active track system. That would allow the drone to follow a person or object automatically, keeping them centered in the frame. For vloggers, bikers, or travelers who like filming themselves, this is a game changer. On top of that, DJI is rumored to be refining its quick shots, those pre-programmed flight paths that let you capture cinematic movements with a single tap. We might see new flight patterns or smoother transitions between modes, making it easier than ever to shoot dynamic clips. Transmission and Connectivity Another key improvement could come from DJI's transmission system, the technology that sends live video and control signals between your controller and drone. Early leaks suggest the Neo 2 might adopt DJI's latest generation transmission protocol, possibly a trimmed-down version of O4 used in higher-end drones. That means a stronger, more stable connection and reduced latency when flying at longer distances. The first Neo sometimes struggled with signal loss in crowded areas or over Wi-Fi interference. A newer transmission system would greatly improve that experience, letting you fly further and with more confidence. This is especially important for creators who want to stream their footage live or review shots in real time. A stable feed means fewer interruptions and smoother framing during flights. Voice control and storage. Interestingly, DJI is keeping one of the most fun features from the original model, voice control. That means you'll still be able to command your drone with simple phrases like, take off, land, or start recording. It's a small thing, but for casual use, it makes flying feel effortless. Imagine standing on a cliff or beach, your hands busy holding other gear, being able to just tell your drone what to do is incredibly convenient. As for storage, it looks like DJI won't be changing much. The internal storage is expected to remain at 22 gigabytes. That's not huge, but it's enough for short 4K clips and spontaneous shooting. Of course, the Neo 2 will almost certainly support external storage or direct transfer to your phone for longer recording sessions. The balance between fun and function. So what does all this mean in the bigger picture? The DJI Neo 2 seems to be shaping up as the perfect middle ground between beginner and advanced drones. It's light enough to be regulation-free in most regions, yet powerful enough to deliver footage that's good enough for social media, vlogs, or even professional use in certain scenarios. With better flight time, a larger sensor, improved safety, and smarter features, it looks like DJI wants to redefine what an entry-level drone can be. The Neo 2 isn't just about flying, it's about creative freedom without the complexity or fear that usually comes with drones. For travelers, it's compact and ready to go anywhere. For beginners, it's safe and easy to use. And for creators, it promises surprisingly high-quality footage. This is classic DJI, taking a simple product and refining it until it feels both powerful and effortless. The Competition and Market Impact it's also worth noting how the Neo 2 fits into the wider market. Right now, there aren't many direct competitors in this ultra-lightweight category. Drones like the Rise Tail, which was co-developed by DJI, still exist but feel outdated compared to what's coming. Other brands, like Autel or Hubsan, 
offer small drones, but none have matched DJI's balance of stability, software polish, a ND image quality. If the NEO 2 launches at a similar price point to the first NEO, likely around $299 to $399, it could dominate this segment once again. That price, combined with DJI's ecosystem and reliability, would make it one of the most accessible drones for newcomers and content creators alike. And let's be honest, in 2025, drones are no longer just flying toys. They're creative tools. People use them for short films, real estate shoots, travel vlogs, and even educational projects. The Neo 2, with its small size and big performance, could easily become the go-to travel companion for anyone who wants to capture life from a new angle. A subtle hint of what's coming next. When you look at the pattern of DJI's releases, the Neo 2 also tells us something about the company's strategy moving forward. It shows that DJI isn't just chasing professionals with expensive flagships, they're still deeply invested in making drones approachable for everyone. They're focusing on accessibility, safety, and fun, all without compromising on performance. It also suggests that DJI's future lineup might continue to merge technologies across different models. We've already seen this with the Mini 4 Pro borrowing features from the Air series, and now the Neo 2 might get sensor and software improvements trickling down from those premium drones. That's a smart move. It keeps the ecosystem consistent and makes it easier for users to upgrade over time without having to relearn everything from scratch. Why the DJI Neo 2 matters At the end of the day, the DJI Neo 2 isn't about specs on a sheet. It's about lowering the barrier to entry, making drone flight and aerial filmmaking something anyone can enjoy. For many people, the Neo series is their first step into the DJI world. It's where they learn to fly, to frame shots, to understand altitude and wind, to feel the joy of seeing the world from above. And DJI clearly understands how powerful that experience can be. By giving the Neo 2 a bigger sensor, a stronger GPS, a safer frame, and smarter software, DJI is building a bridge between fun and function. It's not just a drone for beginners, it's a gateway to creativity. And that's what makes this release so exciting. Because if these leaks are accurate, the DJI Neo 2 isn't just an upgrade, it's a statement. A message from DJI that says, everyone deserves great aerial footage, not just professionals.